have like some place, some guys like SRS Cinema. They're like just killing it, though. Absolutely but killing it. Be, we could always count on them. I mean, last episode we mentioned that they have uh, Yuzo, the biggest battle in Tokyo. They acquired that and would be releasing that. We were really excited about that. The Great Yokai War. They have that coming out. That's the latest Daimajin appearance. Uh, what else did we get from them? Um, oh, the Whale God. Yeah, Whale God's that coming out. Be, that should be coming soon. We have that Space Monster uh, Wing Magui. Yeah. And now, uh, last week, uh, I think the director, Shinpei Hayashi, uh, jumped the gun a little, saying that he had a meeting with them. But uh, we're going to be getting more of the Ninja Monsters, uh, Jaron vs. Gora, from SRS Cinema as well. Uh I think Sci-Fi Japan has also confirmed it now as well. That's happening. But uh, the director pretty much immediately the day he had the meeting last week was like, yeah, I just had a meeting with SRS Cinema. It's uh, going to be getting distributed sometime next year. No official date yet. But it's really cool because he directed the Rigo Raiga trilogy. Uh, he helped with the... Uh, Godzilla vs. Violante suit design. He did some designing with the... Uh, no, not the director, but the suit designer for these monsters. Did Godzilla vs. Violante designs. He did the Godzilla 2000 designs. So these are some really quality suits. He also has the suit actors from Godzilla, Mothra, King Ghidorah, All Monster Attack, Gamma 2, Gamma 3 from the Heisei era. And... Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen the poster or the monster designs. Uh, we were sharing this, I want to say, probably like when we first started this. The They had a crowdfunding going for it. It was a campfire. We couldn't really do it because we're here in the States. Where we, a lot of these Japanese sites, they want you to have the, the prefecture. whatever prefecture. We don't have that here. So we couldn't really provide funds for it. I would have loved to. But... Um, Basically, the monster designs aren't exactly, but this is sort of going to be a Godzilla vs. Gamera movie unofficially. It's not. It's not. They're different monsters. They're their own monsters, but you can clearly see the inspiration. You have the big dinosaur walking on two legs versus the turtle. <laughs> yeah. Well, There's some inspiration here, and uh, the, the the crew behind it is great. So I, I'm really excited about this one. This is one, when I first saw it, I was like, these suits look incredible. And that's why I really wanted to support it when they were funding it. And I'm extremely happy that Ron Bonk at SRS has picked this up. And uh, we've shouted him out many times, and we probably will. I feel like we it's really, almost every show now. Yeah. It's it a really new announcement. Been. Yeah. He's just been killing it. I mean, we really, we, we were just saying earlier, we really got to go back to reviewing more SRS movies. This is, they're one of the reasons we started this show is we wanted to put the spotlight on some of these lesser known titles. It really was because at the, I think it was like a year, no, it was like almost two years ago. I was watching at least one SRS movie a week and I was like live tweeting it. And that was like yeah. kind of me going like, "Hey, like we should do a podcast. Like we should think about it." Like, yeah, absolutely. We we got to go into that SRS library because it's a it's become a really big library. You go to the SRS website and type in kaiju. I think you get about four or five pages of things you could buy. Yeah, it's plus they have quite the a bit now. They have merch too on the site, right? Ron, yeah, they do. Ron's got merch. There's always merch for all these things. Yeah. <laughs> So, shirts mugs yeah tons of stuff I, i'm i'm pretty excited for it and you know it's gonna be one of those movies you know i'm expecting yoshi 35 i'm expecting them to do um oh my god yes. what was that other one is it the same kaiju the kaiju island one you uh, you no, know? it's uh it's the one where it's the same people who did how beyond the fog it was like that magic uh, dragon thing i can't remember the name of it for the life of me it was like a green poster with like a dragon on it. Oh yes, I, I know the brush, the brush one. The 
I know it would like it's like I know exactly which one you're talking yeah. about. Uh, I think it's like the hand of God or brush of hand yeah. of God or something like that. And I would also I like exactly to see what... Outer Man get a US release. Yes, that would be cool. Yes, like that's kind of like my wish list right now for stuff that hasn't been announced. Yeah, Outer Man's an older one though. That one, I don't know how that hasn't got a release yet. They had a they have a duh, they have a subtitle version on Toku. But it's yes. not a physical release. Mm. And I know it's the same people who did like Kaiju Mono, and I forget what the other movie was that they did. It's like all from the same studio. Is it Monster Seafood Wars? No, that's not the same. No, it was one that we covered. Because I remember seeing like an Outer Man poster in the background. I can't remember what oh. the movie was. Hmm. But, um, you know, I I'm excited for it. SRS, keep the work going. Maybe they can find like some more like lost media stuff as well. That would be awesome. Yeah, that that space monster wing laundry was an incredible find. Yeah, and it was absolutely not what I was expecting at all. No, it's still one of the most funniest movies I've seen in recent years. Yeah, I was not expecting it to be that funny. I was like, I went and expecting a monster movie. Came out watching a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it really was no i guess they probably figured like they couldn't do much with what yeah. they had so let's just make it funny yeah um um yeah so 